What's going on guys? So today's the day. Got the super out here in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make my way over to my buddy's house, uh, Mr. Gallardo. You guys uh, know him very well. Uh, but today is the day. So as you guys know, I've been driving the Supra for uh, a little bit already. It's uh, summertime here in Arizona, so today's actually going to hit 113 degrees, which kind of sucks because the Supra does not have any AC. Uh, it's currently almost about noon, so uh, it's still not super hot yet, but it's going to get there. Um, but as far as that goes, uh, today's the day. Uh, the last thing left on the checklist is to install the upgraded clutch. This is uh, Clutch Masters, I think, uh, FX400 or FX500, something like that. Basically, uh, should be able to hold um, anywhere between 700 to 800 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, obviously, my trans is still uh, stock, not even upgraded, um, nothing, anything on the trans. So, it's a bone stock R154, and the, only, the clutch is the only thing that's going to be upgraded. Um, so gonna go ahead and pretty much make my way down over there he has a lift so uh should kind of eliminate a lot of the extra time doing stuff so um yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh make my way down over there It's gonna be 113 degrees. One thing I am gonna miss is taking out all the AC components off of the Supra. Cause on a day like this, I wouldn't mind having AC. I'll tell you what. But uh, car's doing good. Staying well below uh, 190 degrees. She's doing good. All right, everything looking good. We're gonna begin to take off the bolts. Unfortunately, this exhaust is kind of welded on here, so we can't take this off. Uh, we're gonna try to take everything off without taking the exhaust off. So, bolts are gonna come off right here. Uh, we're gonna take these off, and uh, hopefully we can slide it up. Got the drive shaft out. This seal is actually brand new, so I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and change that at all because that seal is brand new. But I'm gonna start uh, to loosen up a lot of the bolts for the transmission. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those out. Two right there. Two right here. Two right here, two right there, and uh, get all of these out. All right, guys. So we got some of the plates off, those off. The clutch fork is off. Clutch is still good. That thing is pretty much brand new. Only has about a thousand miles on it. Uh, got that bolt off. There's one up there. It took off. Uh, there's one right here behind the exhaust. That one's off. Mount is off. So I gotta go up in the car, remove the the shifter, and then try to get to the ones that are up on top. Those are the ones that are gonna be a pain in the butt. All right, 
couple technical difficulties, but we got it out. Got the old clutch here. This thing has maybe about 1200 miles on it. Still good, pretty much brand new clutch. It held about 400 horsepower, no, no problems. So, still good clutch. So, gotta get the new one out and start taking things apart and putting the new stuff in. Got the old pressure plate. Had a couple of little hot spots, but well, you guys be the judge for an eBay, eBay uh, pressure plate. The one that comes with the Clutch Master, as you guys can see, it's actually a Toyota one. It's probably like an OEM one. But uh, you gotta put on the new bearing in there and assemble the rest. It's the old clutch. Not bad. Plenty of lights. Pretty much brand new, actually. All right, so old clutch, new clutch going on right now. It's kind of weird, uh, the old clutch, eBay clutch, I'm not gonna lie, it looked almost exactly the same as the, the one that could hold 800 foot pounds, supposedly, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Buy a race car, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me show you guys what's going on. All right, so we got the trans back on. It was a bit tough. Uh, we had to angle the engine a little bit and get everything back on. Uh, unfortunately, on one of the times when I went to kind of angle this down a little bit, the oil started spilling out. And that's how you see I got drenched in gear oil. So uh, I got to top it off. And on top of that, I'm going to be draining it again and buying it and buying a MT uh, or Redline MT90. So it's going to get fresh fluid once again. But got a bit of a mess here. I got to tell you, it probably would have been a lot easier to take out the engine and put the trans, uh, take out the trans and put it back on. So. It's just a matter of putting everything back on now, so that's where we're at. Alright, so last thing going on is downpipe. Been putting in work. Everything in the bottom has been buttoned down. Alright guys, there you have it. It's officially done. Got the clutch installed. It actually seems a lot more forgiving as far as street goes. It seemed like the eBay one was a lot more grabbier than this one, so that's kind of interesting. But, um, warming her up so you could get home. Shout out to Mr. Gallardo, the goat. Literally took care of this in a couple of hours, no biggie. down below but she's running good and this clutch honestly feels a lot smoother than the eBay one the eBay one was very grabby so uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but I guess we'll find out all right guys so Supra made it home safe uh, fun fact uh, but dyno I would say that that clutch was holding around 400 to 450 horsepower when I was on the SAFC um, So it didn't do bad actually. Uh, I was pretty I was pretty surprised never slipped um, but The new clutch masters FX 400 should hold uh, or it's rated for 800 foot-pounds, which is something that I Don't plan on achieving um, Hopefully the car just makes 
I'll be happy if it makes around, uh, I want to say between 600 and 700 horsepower. I'll be happy with that. Um, but yeah, guys, clutch is installed. All right, guys, so clutch is installed. That was the last biggest thing that we had left. Um, I got to buy fluids for the transmission. I'm going to buy MT90. Um, so fill, flush that out, fill it up with MT90. I'm going to buy new plugs. I'm going to flush my oil, put new oil in it, and um, just kind of start prepping for tune. Um, I'm still not exactly sure who the heck I'm going to go for tuning. That's very tough, tough decision. Um, but that's pretty much one of the last things, guys. Supers in Vegas uh, registration is already up. Um, so that's exciting because fingers crossed that I could take this car this year. I'm going to take this car this year. So... Uh, yeah, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I appreciate everybody that's been watching since day one. Give me all the feedback. I appreciate it, man. You guys are the goats. Um, but thank you, guys. On to the next video, guys. Peace.